On May 12, 2022, I became the latest Hypixel leaderboarder on one of the most popular of arcade games, Party Games. Here's how I did it. So what got me into Party Games? Well, some backstory is needed. It starts around summer 2021. I had been maining bridge duels for a while now. I wasn't really good at it though, I just mained it because it was the most fun game on Hypixel. When I was a bridge sweat, occasionally I would play other games as a break, and 9 out of 10 times, it would be party games. Um, it's just an intuitive, fast paced, not so sweaty, just a fun game to relax when you want to break, you know. So by August, I had around 200-ish wins, and I felt pretty confident. So I was wondering if there was an arcade or party game specific Discord server. I did end up finding the arcade server, where I eventually found Fizzy Fern's party games guide, and from there, I improved a ton in many different areas of party games. I later found the Party Games Discord server right after I hit 250 wins, around late October I think. That's when I really started interacting with the community and improving. During the month of November, my brain realized that I would win party games 90% of the time, whereas I would be winning bridge duels only half the time, even though, well, both games are equally as fun anyways. But because of that realization, I started to play PG way more often than bridge, and butterfly effect moment, I also converted my friend semi soul into a PG main. Um, November is also the time when arcade update rolled in. Game updates and personal bets were a huge change for me because I love stats, I always love stats, and tracking my improvement is really big for me. So every day I would get new personal bests which just motivated me to keep playing PG instead of bridge. Also, why main party games out of all games? One of the reasons why I started focusing more on party games was that I found my place in a community for once. I had joined bridge scrims before, but I never really talked with anyone, or actually even dueled anyone. The party games community was really, really, really welcoming. It's pretty much thanks to Fizzy Ferns and Minecraft Google that I got into actually mining party games and not just playing it casually. And that's when I became a sweat. Along the way, I met some friends and fellow new gens, like VaxJ. I noticed he was pretty good after I barely won a game against him, and his stats were almost identical to mine. So we played with other PG sweats throughout November, December, and January of 2022. It was like every two days we would learn about a new strat or a method, and a week later we'd perfect it. At this point there was no going back, I didn't think I'd go back to bridge. It's kind of like like the tables had turned. I made party games and only played bridge casually as a break now, which is funny. It's just ironic. I feel like I should also mention how my skill kinda just skyrocketed during fall and winter. So as I said, Vax and I were getting real sweaty after the arcade update. When we heard about a tournament, we signed up for it, and we hoped that we would at least get past round 1, maybe round 2, just maybe. But the tournament took so long that we literally had the time to improve every single day, and by the time we played our matches, we just destroyed every team on our path. Just round 3 wasn't even close. Long story short, we ended up winning the tournament. We also hunted world records and top 3 scores a lot. Vax had the spider maze and chicken rings world record, while I had volcano and workshop. That contributed a lot to our tryharding. However, what makes you a leaderboarder isn't your skill, it's, well, your win count. So after February, I wasn't really improving that much anymore since I had already practically discovered or learned about every important strat in the game. I just had to improve on those specific strats. So on top of that, I was grinding way more, consistently getting number one weeklies and number one monthly. During the month of April, I actually went for the post-update monthly wins world record, and I eventually did get it with 1.2 thousand wins in a month, not even close to Cronus with his 2,000 wins. But I did go from 3k to 4k during April, which is a milestone closer to the leaderboard. It all leads to early May, when I finally hit the leaderboard at around 4,800 wins, As I'm speaking, on May 20th, I'm still 10th at 5,000 wins. Having reached one of my major goals, I'm taking a small break now, if you can call 10 wins a day a break, but I don't plan on stopping. I think I'll be back on normal pace soon, as I want to pass McPopTart in June, maybe Itamar, even Oogle. I want to get at least top 4 someday. In short, I realized in October that I was better at party games than bridge duels. I then met some cool people, started mining party games, then grinding it, and 7 months later, I was on the leaderboard. 
and that's a really cool feat. Anyways, that's all. Thanks for making it this far. 